So I was recently asked the question, what is the difference between a protein treatment and elasticity treatment? And I realized I use them very interchangeably, those two terms, and I should define it. So today we're going to talk about the difference. So as far as product labeling, you won't find products that say elasticity treatment and protein treatment a lot of the times. Sometimes they'll say, because companies are starting to catch on, a product will say, you know, this will improve elasticity, this will improve strength of hair, etc. right? But what I've come to observe over time is where I get my definition from. There is no official definition, right? So when I use protein treatment on this channel, I'm usually talking about a, a conditioner that has keratin protein, wheat protein, some kind of protein in the first five ingredients, right? It's not really focused at all on moisture. It is focused solely on strengthening your hair, right? Um, it may have satirical alcohol, but it may not. It may have aloe, but it may have not. Like it may have ingredients like BTMS that moisturize the hair, but it may not. It is mostly focused. It is mostly comprised of something to strengthen the hair. Whereas the elasticity treatments have both. They have both of those properties, things that are intensely moisturizing and things that are strengthening. And usually I find that elasticity treatments use collagen to strengthen the hair instead of something labeled a protein, keratin protein, wheat protein, you know, that is what I find. So for example, the um, Afigy two-step treatment is a very strong elasticity treatment, right? It helps the hair to, it revives the hair, it helps it bounce back. It is collagen protein, that is the entirety of it, right? It is collagen. And then when you put something on moisturizing after it, your hair will be revived, right? And then you have the We Dot Extreme Meltdown Recovery Mask, which I talk about a lot, right? It mainly has collagen. Um, it has silk amino acids. It has things that are going to intensely moisturize and strengthen the hair. Another one that's not labeled in any elasticity treatment, but I consider it one, is the Hask Minoy Coconut Oil conditioner because it has keratin protein but it also has collagen um, and it has a lot of moisturizing ingredients towards the top of the list and protein towards the bottom of the list so you're getting a, a nice balance right so for me protein treatments are dedicated to strength and elasticity treatments are dedicated to both moisture and strength so it really is a matter of ingredients and a lot of the times it's not labeled as such you know there are products that are labeled you know, elasticity treatment, you rarely find that. Instead, you'll find things that are labeled protein treatment more than anything else. So I have videos discussing protein and elasticity and things, so I'll link them um, below. But in the summer, in these really humid months or anytime you're using an excessive amount of moisturizing products, you really do need to make sure that you have that balance, that you're doing a protein treatment or elasticity treatment. Um, it's summer now, so I've amped up my protein treatments and my elasticity treatments. Um, I do them every other week because I'm putting so much moisture in my hair. I'm washing my hair twice a week, right? That's a lot of moisture coming to my hair through washing, right? Water. I'm, I'm washing my hair twice a week. And so it's really, really important that I do those strengthening treatments so that I don't lose my curl, right? My hair will just get very, very elongated and not have that bounce back. Um, and that, that's really easy to do when you're doing wash and goes regularly, right? Whereas this has bounce back because I've, I just did a protein treatment last week. One of the easiest things to do is just use a conditioner with protein further down the list regularly. It's, it's really, you just cut out all the protein versus moisture. Just find one that really works well for your hair and just do that on a regular basis. Use that as your main conditioner. You don't have to constantly move between moisture and protein. I just like to try products, so that's what I do. But you don't have to do that. You can make it really simple and just use something like the Hask Minoy Coconut Oil Conditioner, which is $6.99. You can get it from Ulta. You can use that every week and be absolutely fine. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope you understand that this is my terminology, not anyone else's. You know, this is just what I find from using product. And that's it.
So until the next video, check me out on Instagram and thanks for watching. Bye.